Hello and welcome everyone. I'm the Sparrows Jenny. Welcome to the Sparrows Doom. We're back from where we last left off, which was probably one of the worst starts. Well, more like second dungeons I've ever had in this game. So Ross is pretty effed up. She is paranoid. She is afflicted. She got her stress up the roof on the last dungeon. So Here's one of the tough moments in Darkest Dungeon. You either get rid of these people that you don't think it's worth it to, you know, to recover, or you recover them because you think they are actually worth it. Now, on my latest episode, not on my latest, on my second episode, I got rid of the Crusader, and that was a huge mistake that I must admit. Right now, to make it up for it, I would have wished a Crusader here to recruit, but I don't have it again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna embark on a second dungeon for welds. Because this place, if my memory doesn't fail me, it's not about unholy creatures, it's about the swines and the porks and the bad smelly guys. For this one, we have this moss available. Moyon. Kind of weird names. You know, I can rename them. I can, but what am I gonna rename them with? I'm gonna have like 15 heroes in a couple of episodes, so I'm not gonna rename them all. I could rename them one, two, three, four, but that would be kind of impersonal. So, let's see. Let's... Okay, let's just recover these guys. I'm gonna spend a lot of money doing this. That is a problem. Let's see what she likes. She would like, you know, as a grave robber, I would say she probably likes to get drunk. So let's do that. Let's get you drunk, Ross. Don't do anything bad, though. The bounty hunter is fascinated with corpses and obsessed with killing. So I think your favorite way of getting stress out would be the brothel. Please don't kill anyone, though. Here's an extra coin. I wasn't here. You must be married or something. Nobody needs to know you're there. Let's see who else. The Barbarian. We need to recover the Barbarian. Let's see what we can do to recover her. I think the Barbarian likes flagellation. I'm not sure of that. But that could be it. But have you seen how much money did I spend so far? That's why I think most of the times it's just better if you recruit new ones. Even if these are at level 1. Not to mention, for instance, this girl has many more negative things, well, one more negative thing, than a positive thing. And this girl finally would love to meditate, I think. I think that's the Vestal's thing, it's meditating. But oh well, you're gonna pray. I think it also suits you. So, we are left with this moss, this guy, the Plague Doctor, yeah, Plague Doctor, a uh, Highwayman, and the Occultist. Now, this guy can heal with this skill. But I wouldn't rely on him for the main healer. So we need another Vestal. And obviously we need a new tank for that. And to make things a little bit more spicy and different and original. You know I love to do that. I'm not going to bring the Barbarian. I'm going to bring this guy, the Leper, so that you can see how it rolls. So we're going to bring the Leper. That adversity and existence are one and the same. We're going to bring the Occultist for an off healer. Actually, I don't even have a main healer. I don't have a Vestal available. Wonderful! How am I gonna do this now? I gotta think this through. You know, it's one of the most important moments in Darkest Dungeon is setting up your party. We can also not forget that now I have the guild open. So I can just go there and buy the skills I think I'm gonna use on said hero. So, I don't have a main healer. So it's important that this guy is absolutely the tankish, the most tankish it can be. So this skill would be important, withstand, so that he can heal himself, stress heal himself, and give himself more protection. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go to the guild. You know, it's kind of risky to buy skills for a hero at level zero, because I might be spending money on a guy that I'm gonna throw out in the next chance I have, but screw that. So I can now deactivate, I think I'm gonna deactivate this one, and I'm gonna bring up this skill. 
so I can heal myself and I can bring more protection. I'm spending some money on this guy. You better be worth it. Let's get this skill instead. With this one, I can attack only the two front targets. With this one, exactly the same thing. And then I have the buffs. So this guy is set. Let's see, the highwayman. I need someone in second position. Which is the best one to do that? You know what? I might want to bring the barbarian. I might want to bring the barbarian for crowd control. This guy also has a stun. There we go, stun base. But he can only stun the guys in the back. And I need someone to stun the guys in the front. But this skill, you know, I'm gonna bring the Plague Doctor. Usually I don't like him in my party. I don't like his skills, but I'm gonna bring him just for that skill only. So, for this one. And you will be perfect to be in the second position, counting from the back. So, let's see. I'm gonna dismiss... I'm gonna dismiss this, because I rarely use this. Normally, I just make them go through the bleeds or the blights, and I just heal them after that. So, let's go with this. I think this is pretty awesome for this guy. And now, my healer. You will be my main healer. I have no way, other way to put it. I could also bring, let's see... Probably this skill, so that I can use all the skills in the back. I also want to bring the Sacrificial Stab, because it's the only skill that it's going to be able to attack to do some damage. This one also does some damage, but almost nothing at all. This skill is very good. This is why I think this guy is awesome as an off healer, because he can heal decently, and he also has some very useful skills. Attacking skills. So, what I'm gonna do is trade this one by this one. This is how I love Darkest Dungeon, how you can customize your entire party. So, I want to bring this one. This guy will be somewhat the off healer and the buffer. So yeah, he will be in the back. And now, lastly, for the second position, I can either bring this Mas, or I can just bring a new guy. And I think it would be cool to bring this Barbarian. Do you have the stunning skill? Yes, you do! Man, this party will all be about stunning. And I think it will be worth it. Let's bring this Barbarian. Let's risk it. Uh, it might be a bad idea, it might be a good idea. I'm still, you know, experiencing stuff. Let's do this! Anything else I can do? I can improve their armor, maybe? No, I can still not do that, because I need to improve here the armor smithing or the weapon smithing first. And I don't have the deeds, so I have to go through this dungeon to get deeds. Not only you will be rewarded with four deeds at the end when you complete the quest, but throughout the dungeon you can also pick up deeds. So, you in first place, you in second, you in third, and you in fourth. <laughs> Let's see how this goes. This might be the most unpredictable party I've ever had. I don't know if this will work or not. You know, considering that I don't have a Vestal, most of the times I just disencourage myself. Because again, without a Vestal, I think it's just so hard to go through Darkest Dungeon. It might be my thing. Corruption has soaked the soil, sapping all good life from these groves. Let us burn out this evil. And this could be the worst dungeon ever to start at. If I started here, it would be amazing. Or here. But in here? You're gonna force me to go down and then this way. Just to verify if these rooms are empty or not. God dang it. I didn't need a dungeon like this. Absolutely did not. A map inside. That is useful. I think this guy is materialist. That's why he felt forced to loot that. But this was amazing. I now don't need to go to that room. I need to go to this one because there's people in there. People? More like creatures. Let's see. Enlightened. Wait, I, did I click this? I don't think I've clicked this. I'm getting stressed myself in this game. I thought the guy just picked that because he felt forced to do it. To the spreading corruption. Malformed with misintent. Okay, let's eliminate all chances of being surprised in this dungeon, and let's purchase, get in. Spirits are lifted. 
and purpose is made clear. Oh, a couple of doggies. They're fine. They're they're quite easy to go down, I would say. So let's see. You first. What can I do with you? Paul is not useful here. I don't want them to damage me because I don't have a huge healer in my party. So let's use this one. They will do less damage and they will have a higher chance of missing. Oh my god, but he resisted the buff, man. Seriously. Okay, now I'm going to stun these guys, hopefully. 57 percentage. Oh my god, that is awful. I might just choose to damage them instead, but no, I have just a, a crap chance of hitting them. Dude, they have a huge chance of dodging, that's probably why. There we go. I need to fix this. I absolutely need to fix this. You know, they still have a good amount of HP, they have 10. So I don't think it's a good idea to attack them all three. Let's crowd control them. And there's a 73% chance of hitting them, so let's do that. This girl is here just for that, and to damage them as I can, as much as I can. 47% <laughs> chance? <laughs> that is awful! You know, I prefer to use this attack. It does less damage, but at least it will hit them. I hope. Let's see. At least it hit him. I prefer to hit for low damage than not hit them at all and risk it. We got two of them stunned. That was awesome. These guys are all about bleeding. All their attacks bleed, make you bleed, so that's their thing. Let's see if we can get a debuff going, man. If they didn't dodge. I didn't even see the chance of hitting them. But uh, yeah, these guys are so dodgy. Stun, please. Yes! Two of them are stunned. We're avoiding all the attacks we can. Let's try to bring this guy down. Not yet. You know, I'm gonna risk it now with the Barbarian. I'm gonna do this. Let's see if we can at least bring this one down. Yes! Because that one is down. Hopefully in the next round, she won't have that debuff anymore. Or will she? Now, this guy's stun is kind of crappy now. Because it only affects the, uh, the third one. Yeah. Because this only affects the two last bits. So let's change to something else. Let's start damaging them with the Plague Doctor. I haven't been playing with the Plague Doctor much. So I don't know what is good and what is bad. Let me see. This one also only attacks the last two. So we can either go with Incision or Noxious Blast. This one makes them um, poison with Blight. Hmm... And it has a higher chance of hitting them. So, I am grabbing on to all the skills that have more accuracy. Because these guys just are so dodgy. Okay, what else? Let's still keep using this skill. Because it has a higher chance of, of hitting them. And let's try to finish this one. There we go. As the enemy crumbles. This guy is now time to heal. Please, give me a good heal. He's already bleeding, so... Two. Two is not that great. No, this guy can be great, or this guy can be the poorest guy ever. It's just a luck thing. You could have healed this guy for ten or for two. Just kind of, you know, eh. Oh my god, more dodging. I know there was not a third guy, but I was hoping for finishing this one and damaging this one in the process. It's all about bringing them down now. Uh, and try to survive. That would be great. Um, what am I using? What did I use last time? I think I used this. So I think I'm going to go for the same thing. You know, this one has a higher ch chance of critting. But uh, let's be honest. They have poor health. So I don't need any crits now. I just need to hit them. Please, let's try to heal this guy again. Aha! Nine health. That is good. I like that. Even though he's bleeding now more than he was before. Let's try to finish this guy, please. Thank As you. Falls, I would say this guy's the finisher falls. right now. Because he has the high highest chance of the party to hit them. I could have stunned him instead now that she isn't getting anything. 8 health! That is amazing. You're being a good healer. Thank you so much. 
Let's finish this guy now. Let's make him bleed, why not? Hopefully you will. He resisted. What's your bleed resistance? 25. It's just 25, man. Can you hit better with a stun? Yes, you can. So let's just use it. Screw it. Oh my god. My holy doom. Why did I use that skill? Man, I should have used the cock knockback again. That mistake gave me that stress. This game doesn't forgive, man. It doesn't forgive at all. You make one mistake, you're punished to the bone. Okay, so this will hit him. There you go. And you will be stunned. Good. Now let's try to finish him off uh, with this. Or this. This has a higher chance of hitting them. There we go. First fight, got a couple of stress, that's not too bad. We could go in front and pick up these chests. We could do that, but screw it. At the very start of Darkest Dungeon, I just like... Oh my god, a new party has spawned here? That is bad. In the very first bits of the game, and I would say we're now getting what, in the third quest? It's not exactly the initial part of the game anymore. Oh my god, why was I surprised? I already knew they were there! <sighs> At least it didn't change much. I don't mind this girl to be in the front, but... Let's see, let's stun that guy. We need to crowd control, man. We need to crowd control. So let's... Let, yeah, 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 let's stun that guy. Unless I have a higher chance of hitting them with this. Yes, I do. I actually do. And it will make them poison. But you know what? This skill is for the last two. There's only one. I don't like to waste. I, I like to use the max potential of a skill each time. So let's do that. That girl can stun them. So let's use her to stun them. And he got poison as well. That's awesome. No crits, please. Thank you. I hit this guy because of that. Because... He can hit all of them. In each one of them, there's a chance you will crit them. And that is bad for my stress. That was bad as well. Getting back here with that guy, this guy will be useless now. You know what? I'm just gonna switch. I'm just gonna switch, or this guy won't be able to do anything, I think. You could be able to... See, I couldn't be using this one. You would be able to either buff or heal. But after that, would be the same thing. So, let's do this. If he didn't dodge. Let's focus on this guy and bring him down. Uh, let's stun these guys. We need some crowd control here. Or they will start bringing us down. Two of them stun out of three is good. I like that. Let's heal this guy. He healed him for three, but now he's bleeding. It's exactly the same thing, if you haven't noticed. You will bleed for three rounds for one damage, and he was healed for three. So that will end up being the same exact thing. So, let's see. 78% of hitting him, uh, but this does more damage, and I want to bring him down, so let's do this. Awesome. You know, this guy pairs very well with a Joker, because the Joker has a buff for more accuracy. Each time you use it, it will stack. It will... The buffs here in Darkest Dungeon, most of them at least, do stack. So, with a Joker and this guy, this guy will have more and more accuracy. So he will always hit his targets. And he does a lot of damage if he always hits. So, let's now go... Let's keep hitting the guy in the front. Yeah, because he has a higher chance of hitting him. I absolutely cannot fail my attacks. Because I don't have ways to heal my party. Let's try to stun them. Awesome! At least the Barbarian is doing a grand job. Maybe I want to have them like this. This guy, this guy in the back, but the girl in the front. I actually don't know if that makes a huge difference. Oh, come on! One? That was very bad. Let's try to poison this guy as well. Let's try and do that. Grand. Awesome. I have, have them now both poisoned. Um, let's give it a go. There we go. I think when they are stunned, they should have, you know, a variable that tells, Hey, you're stunned, so you won't be able to dodge. Because you're stunned. If you're like... Uh, 
supposedly, like in World of Warcraft, you're not able to run or do anything else. Let's try to finish off this guy now. Enough with a stun. She won't do much damage, though. So it might be worth it to just stun him again. Oh, yeah, let's do that. At least he won't be able to attack us back. And we can, in the meantime, try to heal our party. Oh, that's how it rolls. So you heal the other guys for one or two damage, and you heal yourself for seven. Talking about greedy. Okay, let's do this. Uh, no, 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 no. I prefer this. You will do enough damage with this attack. Because it has a higher chance of hitting him. Let's do that. Let's correct the localization. Let's bring this guy back here. And let's go with this. Let's go with this formation. I enjoy having her in the front. That out of context might sound wrong. You still have a huge amount of rooms to go through. And we're just, you know, in the very start of the campaign, of the party. Let's go. The debuff Oldman girl is gone. That is awesome. Let's eat. Someone is hungry. Let's bring a torch up so that we don't get surprised in this room because we're going to have another fight in this room. Oh, these guys. They are not unholy. They are Eldritch. This guy is very good against Eldritch. He has a lot of attacks that specifically do more damage on Eldritch. It's just a shame that I'm using him as a healer. Um, so... They are resistant to Blight? Yeah, a lot. And Bleeds as well. Yeah. So basically, the Plague Doctor is almost useless against these guys. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to stun the one in the back. These guys, if you don't know, they have an attack that they duplicate themselves. They attack, they do damage to my guys, and then they duplicate one of the units if there is a spot in the party. So that will probably happen. I have to focus on killing them all at the same time, because if you kill one at a time, and if you just focus one, the other ones will just spawn a new one. So we have to do some area of damage attacks. And I have a good chance of hitting them at least 65. It's not that bad. Let's risk it. You know what? No, 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 no. This does too mu much damage. The guy will immediately die. You might think that's good. But in this case, it's not exactly good. See, I have a huge chance of hitting him, but I still dodged. Seriously. There we go. There's another one. Duplicate. You know, this is terrible. This is a terrible enemy party to go against. Uh, my only chance here is that... If I probably use this guy not as a half healer, but as an attacker, because he has, does a good damage against these guys, against Eldritch. So I'm gonna focus. Oh my god, this is a hard decision. I need this skill. Because it's an area of damage skill. Almost the only one I have in my party, I would say. I have maybe one more guy that does it. If I use this, yeah, I will stun them, but I will lose. Attack damage. So I'm just gonna go and damage them a little bit with this. It also has a huge chance of hitting them. So let's do it. This is how you want to do it. Having them all a little bit damaged and so that you can bring them all down at the same time. So they don't duplicate. Let's stun those guys in the back. That will be awesome. One of them resisted, but I've still got one. Let's hit this guy. Please don't kill him yet. Please don't kill him yet. Oh my goodness. Okay, this guy does good damage to Eldritch. But, I don't have the skills. I didn't bring the skills this guy normally has to go against Eldritch. There we go. Monster type Eldritch does more 15% damage. I didn't bring the skill. You know, this is ignorance. Also, the stab does more damage to Eldritch as well. This is just pure ignorance. If I knew this beforehand, I would have not just used this guy as a healer, but oh well. It's now done. Let's not think about it. Let's actually use this guy to attack as well, because we need to bring them down as fast as possible. Let's just go and risk it for... We don't want them to dodge, so let's do this. Please get it through. He's not marked, but that marked, I think it's for the other skills of the occultist. It does no good on these guys. Oh, awesome! I'm so glad I made the choice 
to not go with the stuns and go with this one. And we're done! We're done with this dungeon already. Treasures. Just money. I didn't get much at all. Will we risk? You know what? There's a fight over here. Unfortunately, there's nothing in this room. You know, I think I'm gonna still go for another one. Because I, I'm not gonna bring anything to the city. Just a couple coins and that's it. I still have a lot of torches. I have some food. So I think I'm still on a go for at least one more fight. So let's fight those guys, whoever they are in there. <laughs> Maybe I will regret this. Let's give this guy some food. And this one as well. I most of the times enjoy giving food only to the tanks because they heal two out of one food. Oh, these guys are easy to go down. And they got surprised. Pfft, you're done. Let's do this. I'm not even gonna heal. No, I better do it. I better do it. <laughs> I better do that. Oh my god. Did I say heal? Oh well. So I think these guys are very resistant to blight, so let's just stun them. Let's just stun them in the back. Oh, they resisted, both of them. Let's use this skill. This skill is awesome against these guys. And this is why. They have such a short amount of health that that skill just completely destroys them. Um, Let's try to heal them. Heal this guy again. One health. Seriously? I think I've done more harm now than good. Oh my god, so much dodges! Stop with that. Well, I can't complain. I had that attack that dispatched most of them. But this guy, man... Oh my god, this guy either needs to be paired with a Joker for more accuracy, or Trinkets for more accuracy. Or he just will miss most of the attacks. That is awesome, to cure some stress. That was awesome. Let's keep going, and let's risk a little bit more. Let's get this torch. You know, torches, boxes, and sacks of loot normally are always positive. It's, it's the, the other things, the rest of the remaining things, that uh, can have negative effects. Let's see if there's anything here. No, man, I really wish there was people in here to fight against. That meant there was something out there of value. Let's, you know, I'm gonna risk it a little bit because my party is so in such a good state. There we go, some treasures. Normally these crates are always good. Let's pick up this. And let's have a fight now, right? I have so many torches, I'm just gonna use them the for no risk struck. at all being surprised. A star is born. There we go, they got surprised. I need to get this guy down as fast as possible. Uh, he has a area of damage attack that um, just destroys me. Uh, the Plague Doctor, man, I just don't, I just don't know. It's like ignorance and inexperience. I don't know just, just how to use the Plague Doctor. Um, these guys are blight resistance. Actually, the Plague Doctor is one of the worst guys to bring to this specific dungeon. Because all of them are resistant to blight. See, there's one more lesson for you, and for me. I just thought that myself. <laughs> um, it's a good idea to bring the occultist, but as an attacker as well, not a healer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just melee attack him. I think that's the best chance I have of doing some damage. But I didn't want to attack these guys, because they have the most health. But now that I've started it, I'm gonna continue with it. Let's try to straight bring him down. 10 damage, not bad. And now this will finish him off. Hopefully. Grand. I just love this girl. Let's heal this guy. There we go, finally a good heal. He resisted the... Um, the bleed, and not only that, he healed a lot. So let's do this. I don't know, it feels like these guys are just resistant to those kind of diseases. Those kind of debuffs, because they always do. They always do resist those things. Oh my god, come on, one more damage, man. At least the debuff is there. There we go, that guy is done with that spider E thing. And he will bleed to death. Awesome. Or maybe not. Play Doctor just 
is in a hurry. There we go. That is my first trinket, I would say. More accuracy, and in rank 1, less accuracy. Oh, it has to be ranged. So in ranged attacks, it will have more accuracy. That is amazing. I like that. That could be used for any other guys that are back here. I'm going to continue. I'm going to continue because my party is just in such a good state. I am now realizing that each of my episodes are just one dungeon because I just take so much time in one single dungeon. But, you know, at least in this one, I'm doing so good that it's worth it. It's worth it to continue. Oh, don't be surprised, please. There we go. I didn't get surprised. Whew. I absolutely hate this girl. She brings your stress up so much. These guys are blight resistant, but they are not much bleed resistant. So I'm just going to make them bleed. If I would actually hit them. Let's bring this girl to the front, hopefully. There's only a 67% chance of that happening, though. Actually, all my skills have a low chance of hitting them. So I'll just use it. Oh, there we go. It worked. It worked. Now I need to get rid of her. As fast as possible. Oh my god, great. These guys have skills that advance one tile when they attack. That is why the girl is back there again. Just wonderful. So what I'm gonna do is... I want the girl... To the front! A devastating blow. Well, that worked the same way, but not exactly the way it was supposed to work. That skill supposedly makes the guy that you attack go back, and the guy that was in the back goes in the front. She went to the front, but because the other guy died, but oh well. I'm gonna stun them. I'm just gonna stun them, why not? I could get rid of them immediately, but I just don't want to take any damage. Because I don't have a proper healer. I'm sorry, Occultist. You're just not a good healer. You might be good for fixing... ...mad people. With your... Uh, ...kind of Jack Sparrow's kind of animations, but that's just it. You know, my health is alright. You know, if he was a proper healer, I would just heal them, but... ...I only tend to heal my guys when they are below 50%. That's when this heal is very good. Other than that, I'm just going to attack with this guy. Uh, same chance of hitting them. So what I want is for this guy not to dodge. That would be amazing. Yes, the debuff got through. Let's do this now. Just awesome. But you know, you did your job with the stun, so I'm happy with that. Let's bring this guy to the back. Even though he will come to the front. Well, if he was alive. Let's try to dispatch this one. Six damage. Come on. Three more. You can do it. Let's make him... Ten less accuracy so that he doesn't hit us with that freaking stress thing. The debuff didn't get through, man. Come on! Just one damage. Seriously. One damage cost me 20 stress. It's just awful. Seriously? You're gonna go one more round? Because of the dodgings? More 20% stress? Man! Just finish her off! Oh, Took some time. See, these are the kind of things that screw over one run. When you get, like, two... Uh, consequently... Dodges that happens. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna victory. I'm gonna risk it with the plague doctor. Let's see what we get from this. Not good. Curses. I don't know what happened. Did he get anything? I guess not. One more torch. Even though we're not gonna really use them now. Oh great. That's a good such a great thing of value, a torch. Uh, let's see, I still have some food. I'm gonna use it before entering this room. I don't have any info on it, so... Actually, it should be empty, because the objective for this dungeon was to kill everyone in a room, right? So this should be empty. Yeah, it is empty. So let's get out of here. Successful dungeon. Corruption is an endless battle. And... But one that must be fought. Contrary to the last episode, when I brought a completely destroyed party to the city, this one is in a good state. 
it actually is in a good state. And we're getting the Plague Doctor going to level 2. Even though it's still missing a lot of dungeons. I would say to take I remember someone to level 2. Shone, and laughter could be heard from the tavern. You require around 6 dungeons? Successful dungeons, I would say. Maybe less. Maybe 5 successful dungeons would be enough. There's one thing that I still haven't realized. Is that... For instance, if you go to a medium dungeon, will you get more out of it in terms of experience than a short dungeon? I guess the logical answer would be yes, but I'm still not sure of it. So we now got a new building, which is the sanitarium in our city. This is useful to treat negative things on them. So if I want, you know, again, to keep one guy and try to perfect him, I just bring him here and I try to cure what he has of negative things. And I will spend some money. I am the Sparrow's Journey. I hope you enjoyed this. And I'll see you on the next one. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye. Thank you for watching, everyone. If you are looking for more, feel free to check these suggestions. As a reminder, if you're looking into buying games, consider using my G2A ref link in the description of this video. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you on the next one. And remember, stay above the waters.